Hey everyone, it's Megan and I am here with another video for you guys. I hope you're having a great start to your new year. I have a lot of fun content that I am going to be posting this month and it's not going to be all reseller related and I'm very excited about it. But in the meantime, to kick off the new year, I wanted to do a video all about doing an inventory check. And right now I have like this little portable wall behind me and my inventory is behind me, um, just a ton of bins. But I wanted to do a video about how I do an inventory check, um, why I do them, why it's important and just crucial uh, to stay organized and just limit uh, stress in your business. Um, and the biggest reason I do inventory checks is to basically see what items are unlisted, kind of like dead inventory, things that maybe accidentally got deleted or like an unpaid item case on eBay where someone uh, didn't pay me for a couple days, I opened a case and then it kind of just fell off and I forgot to relist it. Um, or even with Good Till Cancelled, I have noticed... Um, I've had friends experience this and I've also experienced it a little bit, um, good till cancelled listings like falling off after a few months and that's why I try really hard to manually end and relist items like before the 30 days or even more frequently to just keep the listings fresh and like adjusting price and title and all that good stuff, giving them the best chance for them to sell. So I'm going to show you guys my process of how I do this inventory check and I do plan on doing an updated video of all my organization and kind of the setup that I have now. Um, I do have an older video that I'll link down below. Um, I still feel like there's great information in that video but I will be doing an updated video of my inventory organization and giving you guys a whole um, kind of look at how I store items. Um, for the sake of this video though, it's just going to be about doing the inventory check. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. So I went ahead and finished numbering my piece of paper. You can use pen or pencil. I just went ahead and numbered 1 through 45. That's about how many, how many bins I have. And my strategy with doing this is it just helps me kind of keep track as I go for which ones I've done and I like to do about five or ten a day and put on you know a Netflix show or something kind of keep me occupied um, it does go by pretty fast it does seem kind of like annoying but they're actually really helpful and like I said I feel like very crucial to my business and staying organized and I like to do them Every quarter, and if not every quarter, um, which is every three months, I try to do them at least twice a year, so once every six months, um, just depending on how my inventory is going. Um, I do plan on growing my inventory, um, trying to double my inventory this year, so I will be trying to stay on top of my inventory checks because obviously the more inventory you have, the more likely um, things can fall through the cracks. So I'm going to go ahead and get into my process of actually pulling down the bins and how I go through that process and doing the inventory check. So I go ahead and grab the first bin. For the sake of this video, um, I'm going to do 25 through 30. So I would grab bin 25, which is this bin. And um, how I store my inventory... Um, I don't put things in plastic bags um, for my business. I really try to be as environmentally friendly as possible and also being cost efficient. And I know everyone has different preferences about that. But for me personally, um, you know, I've shipped out thousands of items and uh, I've never had an issue about kind of like storing everything together and just loosely in a bin. Um, I prefer doing it this way and also I kind of have like OCD about when I ship out items so even if I did put things into plastic bags I would take them out anyways to like double check for flaws and lint rolling and cutting threads and just like all the little things to make sure the item is like in the best condition it can possibly be before I ship it to the buyer. So that is just kind of um, 
what I wanted to touch on of why you can see my clothing like this and not in any plastic bags at all. So yeah, so what I do, um, I grab bin 25 and I pretty much will dump all of it onto the ground. And I will go to my SKU on my computer. Um, all my bins are 1 through 40. I switched them all to a basic um, number system. About two years ago, I was doing letters, um, but now I just prefer having numbers because I feel like it's simpler. So I will go to the SKU 25 and it'll show me everything that is in that bin. So I will keep doing that and slowly put one by one each item kind of like a checklist as I scroll through making sure every single item is here and accounted for and putting it back into the bin. And anything that I find that isn't listed I will put to the side and make sure that I either donate it or um, retake photos for it so I can get it relisted. This is also another great opportunity for you guys to maybe clear out some old inventory, maybe some old auction items that you've had on auction for weeks or months that just aren't selling that you rather just finally get rid of. I mean, we all have those items that have stuck around in our store for a year, if not more, that just don't bring in watchers or views that you just kind of want to get rid of. So it's just a great way to also edit your inventory. and. Another last tip that I wanted to mention is something that I kind of utilize while doing this inventory check is I like to condense my bins. So if I see that one bin is like half empty, um, I will switch half the bin and put it all into another. So um, all my bins are full and I can fully maximize my space and not have a ton of like half empty bins. So that pretty much wraps up this video. I just wanted it to be kind of short and to the point of how I do these inventory checks and why I think, again, why they're important to your business. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like it if you did, and I will see you in my next video.